Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to lockpick or the Starfield lockpicking explained as easy as possible for this video. So make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you don't miss any important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So for the first part of this tutorial is I'm going to teach you how to get lockpicks. So in Starfield, lockpicks go by specific name, which is it is called digipicks. So not lockpicks or bobby pins, digipicks. So thankfully, digipicks aren't too difficult to come by as they can be usually found lying around almost any point of interest and are a bit larger than your average lockpick and easier to spot on. But if you're running low, you have few options for obtaining more. So you can stop by a general store in major city, the Jamison Mercantile on New Atlantis, for example. They usually stock ample supply for an affordable price under the MISC tab or settings tab. So you can, they're also abundant in open world. So when exploring a pirate base, for example, check the tables in the offices or nearby any seats that might be around. So they're often just sitting there to be snugged. And then for the next part, how you can pick a lock or a novice lock so in a novice lock you'll see the lock itself dead center so for digipick patterns and the number of the digipick items you have left so it is important to note that each of the four patterns all count towards the single digipick use but if you use one of the wrong patterns and are unable to finish you'll have to undo your progress and use up digipicks in the process so the goal is to use the patterns to align each of the gaps so that all all gaps are filled and locks are uh, locks will present you with multiple rings the harder the lock the more rings you may have to contend with so the first thing we'll want to solve this solve is the outside of the lock so you'll see the gaps in the lock that you'll need to fill and then you'll see the set of tool variations that you have to use to accomplish this so these variations aren't in any order so you'll need to cycle through them to try different combinations so the key is to not lock in any of the picks unless you are sure it does there or it goes there so some variations will work for both the inside and outside but only one of them will be the actual solution so if you're too eager to replace a digipick it is it turns out it's correct or and it turns out incorrect you'll need to undo it which costs a digipick and then you can see for each pattern that needs go into a slot no points can be left out so this means that if the pattern has three pins all points need to fit into a slot and the second pattern needs to fit the remaining slots on the outer ring so being able to eyeball if multiple patterns fit before committing their placing them can be extremely helpful so always make a note of where the where the points are on the first pattern fit and swap to another pattern without committing to see if you can line up a second pattern for the outer lock and one trick to keep in mind is that the picks keep keep the rotation so you can place one pick where it should go and swap back and forth, forth between a couple of options to see if it all lines up. So once you're sure you've got the two that fit, you can actually place them and remove the outer lock. And the center lock is usually a lot easier as you'll have less patterns to choose from and you'll be able to tell very quickly whether or not they fit. So just rotate them to check and if they don't, um, it means one of the remaining patterns should have been used in the outs uh, in the outer lock and doing your move will use up a digi pick so if you completely back out the entire puzzle will reset with a new random patterns but you'll all but you'll only lose one pick and so that's it for this video that's how um you can pick a lock or pick a novice lock so i hope this helped you and if it did please make sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell button so you don't miss a video thank you so much for watching and have a great day Bye-bye.